Hello YouTube B3, you're back with another kicking action figure review. Today we have a figure I have been waiting for since announcement. It is the Superman Doomed figure from the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse line. Yeah, pretty cool fig. Mine has a few little problems, mostly paint-wise, but other than that, he's pretty cool. Uh, really digging the sculpt and stuff, so let's zoom out a bit. Take a look at Superman Doomed from a New 52 story where Superman, uh, you know, he and his pals beat up Doomsday and then he got infected with this Doomsday virus and kind of turned into a Doomsday himself. I only read one comic from the story because I was it was a big crossover event going over multiple titles and the only title that I had that had a book from it was Batman Superman title. And, of course, uh, <laughs> uh, I wasn't reading any other titles, and I just had to get that Batman and Superman so I could have a complete set, you know what I mean. But, yeah, that's the only issue I read. It was pretty confusing since it was, like, right in the middle of the event. But, Superman Dunes, you know, he's got the Doomsday Spikes coming through his, like, Kryptonian battle armor. And he's got this Doomsday face with the horn beard, which is pretty gruesome. He actually has a pretty good head sculpt. Good job, Mattel. If it weren't for all these little paint droppings and defects all over it, uh, I'd actually be much you know, happier with this figure. The cape's very much like the um, one that comes on the <sighs> Dark Knight Returns Superman. That was a Walmart exclusive, except it's got the big S on the back. Pretty cool. I like his hands. It looks like he's starting to get some bone growing out of there. Very cool hands. Nice, nice sculpting on this guy. I'll, I'll give you that, Mattel. He's got his boots. His nice little boots. Mine's kind of coming apart at the seam right here, but that shouldn't mess with anything. It was also covered in white stuff down here when it came out of the package. I had to wipe that all off. That was weird. That was very weird. But yet, yeah, at least the paint on the S is clean. But when I move the head around, sometimes, like, paint chips will fall down onto the S. Gotta brush them off. So, yeah, you know, there's... Other paint problems, like there was all this blue on his hand for some reason. Don't know what's up with that. So yeah, he's just got like paint some places where it shouldn't be. But other than that, you know, he's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. He does come with a collect and connect piece for the New 52 Doomsday. Bada bing, bada boom. Right arm. Pretty cool. You know, it's whatever. I am building Doomsday in his entirety. So there will be a Doomsday review eventually. Bada bing, bada boom. But right now we're sticking with Superman Doomed. So, articulation. How about we do some articulation? Up and down on the head. Got some side to side action there. Up and down on the arms, forward and back. There is a bicep swivel. Elbow bend right there. Single, you got the wrist swivel. Pretty nice ab crunch. Good forward and back. There should be a waist swivel, I feel like, but it doesn't want to move. I don't know if it's stuck because of paint or if it's not supposed to move at all, but I'm pretty positive that this waist is supposed to be a joint. Mine's just stuck, but I'm pretty positive it's supposed to move. In and out on the legs, forward and back on the legs. You got a thigh swivel, you have a knee bend, and you have a tiny little bit of ankle pivot, it seems like, on the foot, but not enough to even be worth mentioning, really if you aren't reviewing it, wink, and then really stiff feet. There we go. I've actually never articulated the feet before now that I think about it. They're just stiff. There we are. Oh, this one had extra plastic in it. That's another problem right there. Ah, but whatever. Stands just fine. As you saw earlier, no hands. He's standing perfectly normal. So yeah, you know, pretty cool looking figure. Now let's compare him with some other figures that we have. For our first size comparison, here's Superman doomed with some other comic figures. I didn't actually mean to compare him to just Batman figures here, but they were the closest ones on hand. Here on the left, bada bing, bada boom, a figure from his own line, the wave before his though, Endgame Joker. So that is how he looks with a regular suit body. And here on the right, another pretty regular mold that we used to see a lot. Now we don't see it as much. Uh, it is Batman from the All-Star DC Universe Classics. It's supposed to kind of look like Michael Keaton Batman, of course. And uh, that's how he just scales with those regular sculpts. Here he is with some DC collectibles. Here on the left, 
the CW television series Reverse Flash, and here on the right, the Forever Evil Superwoman. Here is Superman doomed with some DC Icons figures. Here on the left, Blue Beetle, and on the right, Lex Luthor. And lastly, here's Superman doomed with some movie and television show figures. Here on the left, the Batman vs. Superman Batman, which you should not buy. Get the Suicide Squad version instead. Just letting you know, do not get this Batman. Get the Suicide Squad version. Uh, it has It's the same figure, but with way more accessories. Just letting you know. Heads up. Uh... Also from the DC Comics Multiverse line. And another figure from the Multiverse line, actually from the same wave as him, the television series Supergirl. Pretty cool. So yeah, she came with a Doomsday part also. Yeah, pretty neat. So one of my final thoughts on the Superman Doomed figure from the DC Comics Multiverse line. New 52 Doomsday Collecting Connect Wave. Well, so far, Wave 2 has turned out to be a pretty cool wave. I didn't think that Mattel would make this guy, especially as a single-release figure. I mean, he's a big guy, as you saw. Not, like, super big, but he's big. He's a big dude. Uh, lots of big... There's some big sculpts in this wave. This guy, Armored Batman, there's big sculpts in this wave. Uh, and, yeah, he's got that kind of DC... Uh, not DC, uh, Masters of the Universe, that's what it is. The He-Man mold. He's rocking the He-Man mold. And, uh, I think it works great for this guy. They've been putting the He-Man molds in to the DC figures to give us bigger characters, and it's really been working. Worked great on the Dark Knight Returns characters. Uh, working great on this guy. I actually wouldn't mind getting this mold a couple more times as long as they keep adding stuff to it and we don't just get the plain mold. We get cool head sculpts like this and all those spikes. That's what makes this figure more unique. Not this sculpt itself. So, yeah. That is it, everyone. Thank you all very much for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, Vine, etc. We got a great Vine. Uh, we got more figure reviews coming up, more DC, Marvel, Godzilla, you name it, homies. You name it. We got them reviews coming at you. Hardcore parkour. So many reviews coming at you, I'm gonna have to wear a condom. I'm serious. This is some dank shit, and it's gonna happen. Alright, that's it, you guys. Thank you all very much for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe once again, and I will see you all later.